Hi guys, and we're back with the L200 in this episode. And if you follow us on Instagram, you'll notice I posted recently, uh, we've got something arrived in the post. Pretty obvious, I think, that it was a set of leaf springs. So we've got these from a guy called Luke over at Midland Springs. If you want any, speak to him. He's the guy who uh, will look after you. So basically when this is now sitting, the springs are sitting really flat because obviously they're old. Um, and also there's a lot of extra weight now in the vehicle with things like the roof tent, um, 40 litres of diesel, 40 litres of onboard water, plus all the extras that we're going to carry in the back. So today, Paul's going to take me through basically taking the old leaf springs off and putting these brand new ones on, which have got an extra leaf in to give us basically about an extra 500 kilos of sort of um, ability in there to carry the extra weight now that we carry on the vehicle all the time. Right guys, so we've got the vehicle jacked up, we've got the wheel off, we're going to put some axle stands under it before we start work. But you can see on the old leaf springs, you've basically got one, two, three, four leafs. On these new ones, we've now got five leafs. So we've basically got that extra uh, strength there to help us with the extra weight and load that the vehicle now carries. Can we just uh, bang this? Uh Jack in place. Definitely had a bet today. Right, so basically what we've done so far guys is we've cracked off all the various sort of nuts and bolts. So we've got obviously nuts and bolts here. We've just taken off these um, brackets which hold your brake cable and the sensor cable for the diff lock. Cracked them off on the shackle at the front there and we've cracked off the U-bolts which are holding the axle to the leaf spring. Uh, but Paul, this is the bit now, we've got to be careful because certain things are still under tension, certain things aren't under tension, there's going to be weight that we need to be supporting when we start taking bolts out. You can't just willy-nilly now take bolts out, can we? No, the, um, we've actually got a jack under the chassis yeah. and we're jacking the vehicle through the chassis because uh, there's no point jacking it up under the axle because we're unbolting the axle. Yeah. I've seen people actually do that, unbolt, unbolt. Um, and then wonder why everything suddenly comes collapsing. Yeah, why it all fell on them. Right. Um, so that jack was sitting there is just to take the weight of the axle yeah. when we drop the spring off. Right. It's actually supported on a jack further down because uh, I've got uh, chassis jacks uh, holding the chassis. So. Right. This spring is now not under tension because it's it's stretched all the way down. So is it not in any way being still held under tension by the fact that the shock absorber has been pulled to its full extent? Do we not know? Or um, well, that, that spring plate is. We've just got to unbolt the shock. Okay. Because uh, it'll probably go down a bit further. Yeah. But uh, like I say, that jack what's under the diff is just holding the weight of the axle, yeah. not the weight of the vehicle. Right. The chassis stands are holding holding the vehicle. So our next step is going to be basically the first thing we're going to take off is that shock. Is undo that shock, yeah. then undo the spring plate which will free the axle up, yep. then undo, undo the two bolts either end and drop the, drop the spring out. Right. Drop one side, then the other, don't try doing them together because they're bloody heavy as you found yeah, out. Yeah, as you found out those new ones when I took yeah. delivery. And delivery. they're even heavier. Yeah, the delivery guy didn't get them off the truck for some reason, he left me to do it. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? Right. You can carry them. Yeah, that's it, we're off. Right, now let that go. Right guys, these are U-bolts that hold the axle to um, the carrier plate, which basically sandwiches the leaf springs. They're stiff as anything, and we've got new U-bolts that come with the kit from Midland Springs, so you know what, we're just gonna cut them off. There's no point dicking around, wasting time trying to get them. Um, it's just too hot, guys. So 
there's a hanger plate guy, so it's basically going to sit beneath um, the springs and the bottom of the shock fits onto there. All the way around, there it goes. I'm much point trying to catch something that says it's fallen. As it's gone. Don't need that because we've got them. Yeah, Isaac's probably going to drop in a minute. Hit it. Yeah, that's it. Catch. My turn. Nearly up, Mindy. That's right. That's more than a bit worse than that. Bloody hell, it's heavier than heavy. that. That is considerably heavier. <laughs> this truck was slow to fall. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, I'll put a lift this up and put the uh, We'll do this end first so we can pivot it. That'll be easier. Oh, that's it, yeah. Take it. Yeah. Right, do you want to lift? Oh, okay. That will be a bit heavier. Swing that end round. Just need to get it in there. Ow! <laughs> Got a look at my face going, come on, come on, come on, come on! He's to come towards me a bit. As in, so I guess. Yeah. That's it. A little bit more. That's it. Oh it's it on. Right, so the next thing to do now is tighten everything up, but not too tight. Yeah. Where did you keep gloves? Top shelf. No, middle shelf. You said top. I've done one leaf spring and I've done two brakes. Come on, guys. I could have done all your brakes by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, wait, have I you guess. seen the size of those leaf springs? Yeah, have you felt the weight of those things? These weigh, those weigh more than your car. <laughs> Right, so we've got both sides all back together now. A um, couple of uh, points while you're doing it is uh, on your leaf springs, you've basically got a bolt that holds them in the center. So what you've got to watch out for is on this axle in the plate here, there's a little hole which that is going to line up in. And you might have a bit of fun and games trying to get basically the two to line up. And the same on the bottom on the hanger plate, you've got uh, the bottom part of that kind of like fixing bolt that goes through the plate, which you've got to line up the hole in the hanger plate, so make sure you line both those up, otherwise you'll find yourself tightening and tightening and tightening, wondering why there seem, still seems to be gaps everywhere. So make sure they're lined up. Uh, that's everything done. We've bolted it all back together now. Everything's been greased as necessary. It's going to put the wheels back on. It's probably given us about another inch, inch, in, inch and a half of height now with these new springs, because um, again, they were, they were pretty much flattened out with the extra weight of the vehicle. So I'm going to take it for a good run for a couple of days, shake it all about a bit, and then just go around it again, check all the bolts are tight enough. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope let's point a few things out. Again, any tips, um, any comments, please add them in the comments section below. Don't forget to click and subscribe, plenty more videos coming. And if you haven't seen it, we've also got set outside the garage now, the green meaning. So wait to see our videos on that.